Well, Tales of Symphonia isn't quite ready yet. I, uh... Seem like I'm gonna go for this very Wii-centric lineup of Let's Plays in the near future. And then GameCube. I'll probably get a PS3 game in before that. I got a Xbox 360 as well, but no component cables to record with my Hotpog. I do have one powerhouse of a PC that can easily record a game at full settings with fraps. Yeah, maybe I'll do Bastion. I just recently got that game. That's pretty good. Oh, but I digress. Hey guys, welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Metroid Other M for the Wii. And I'll uh, turn the subtitles on. English sounds like a good language. I'm speaking it pretty well right now. This game has uh, pretty hefty load times for a Wii game, to be honest. Guess I might want to talk a little bit about it. Metroid Other Rims, an action-adventure game developed by kind of a triple entente of sorts between Nintendo and Team Ninja of Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive fame, and they had the, these uh, nicely rendered CG cutscenes done by D-Rocket. And they do look quite nice. I mean, you know, even Spoonie says that, you know, this game has graphics on par with 360. He said that, uh, I think during one of his E3 videos, like, late last year. And, you know, he has a reputation for not liking anything. But, you know, I think he's just jaded from having to play some really bad games. I mean, if you were, you know, in your late 20s, early 30s, you know, age group I am right now, you you know, you'd know how we all feel. And Samus is still alive. The baby. The baby. Get ready to pull out your shots because we're going to play a drinking game. Take a drink every time she says baby in this game. She's being held by a Metroid and whoa, there's a big CG version of Mother Brain. If you can't tell, this is a uh, CG redo of the final battle from Super Metroid. Chronologically in the Metroid series, this game takes place in between Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion. And a lot of games, a lot of game reviewers gave this game um, quite a bit of shit. You know, mostly because they didn't like the way that uh, Samus's character was developed. You know, they said it was a deviation of her character. To that, I must ask the question, what character? I mean, really, she was a blank slate. In the other game, she barely spoke. She didn't interact with anybody. There was no character to deviate from. And in this, they make her a little more three-dimensional. And I'll get into that, to the little issues sparking out of that little um, problem when we uh, get to those parts of the game that a lot of people had complaints about. And I have a lot of anger-filled things to say about those people who had a problem with this game. I think they get a, need to get a little bit of a grip on reality. I do have problems with Samus in this game, however. I mean, as you play through the game, you'll notice she monologues quite a bit. Hold on, this part is badass. I love how they zoom into her arm cannon. Boom, bitch! And a lot of people have a problem with her voice acting. I, I have to agree. She monologues a lot. It's very dry. I don't think her voice act is really delivered. But oh god, yes. That is nice. I don't want to see your ugly face. There we go. I awoke to the familiar voice of a quarantine officer. Let's try sitting up, huh? Yes, yeah, slowly now, nice and slow, baby. Oh yeah, that's the way the Daddy likes it. My recent past, thanks to the hyperbeam, which was given to me somehow by the baby. Two. I laid Mother Brain to waste, and the explosion that followed destroyed Planet Zebus, along with the remains of Mother Brain, the space pirates, and my long-standing nemesis. And the baby. Three. Come on, Samus. Let's go next door. Time for your spanking. Oh, yeah. Right. 
Am I a pervert for liking this? Yes, I believe I am. But is that such a bad thing? And she covers up the nice spandex with a big heavy suit. Well, a girl's got to accessorize. Let's start with a little warning. Try a charge beam for me. And we hold down the WUD button, and that meter up in the upper left corner fills up to the top, and we release for a charge beam. And she automatically locks on enemies, the closest one nearby, so you don't have to do that manually, and it works pretty well. I mean, the game's pretty solid for a 3D game that rec that controls uh, with a Wii Remote on the side like a D-pad. Press the A button with the Wii Remote held to the side to go into Morph Ball mode. Press 1. Drop to Morph Ball. Okay. Get out of Morph Ball mode and return to normal. See, so return to normal. So even the game knows that her rolling up to a ball like that isn't fucking normal. Alright, and every once in a while we go into these close-up perspectives where you lose your ability to run. You uh, walk nice and slow. And there's parts where it uh, drags on for quite a bit of time. Surprise. And wall jumping works a lot like uh, New Super Mario Brothers or New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Just uh, press to the wall that you're uh, trying to kick off of. And But uh, unlike New Super Mario Brothers Wii, like it says in those red parentheses down there, don't change direction when you get to the other wall. Just hit one wall and then keep tapping the one button while holding in that first direction that you were pointing in. Oh, pals, huh? Oh, we get to... No, those aren't my pals. Those aren't my friends. They're rips off, rip offs of the Spinies from Super Mario Brothers. Um, I can't remember the names of these guys for the life of me. Like, I want to say Lever, but I know that's a Zelda enemy. Okay, Hoover, Louver, something, Rover. I don't know. Anybody who can tell me the name of those guys in the comment section gets dodge. cool points. And we got this sense move thing. It's kind of like a quick dodge when a uh, enemy attack is nearing you. You just uh, press the D-pad in any one of, in any direction as the uh, attack is coming towards you, and you'll jump out of the way. You, obviously, you don't want to point in the direction that the attack is coming from. Nice. Remember how that feels. And it comes in pretty handy in a tight situation, Next. especially when there's uh, enemies all around. You can just kind of rail on the uh, D-pad in order to just keep dodging really fast. All right, there are no um, item replenishments in this game. Um, when you run out of missiles, all you got to do is Point the Wii Remote straight up in the air, hold the one button, and fully charge. There are items and pickups, however, to um, increase your max amount of uh, energy tanks and missiles. And I will be showing how to get every single one of those pickups. This will be a 100% walkthrough. Alright, we want to go into first person mode. Uh, yeah, there we go. We could uh, hold the B button down to kind of pan the camera we cannot run or walk while in first person mood mo mode yeah mood yeah we're not in the right mood to be walking around in first person mode this isn't metroid other m and hello press the a button while it, holding down the b button in first person mode to uh launch a missile and yeah we can uh kind of quick step this guy what i want to do is just hold the charge button down and jump on his head and launch one right into his spinal cord Let's do that again. Boom, and that ought to do... No? Ah, come on. There you go. Die, asshole. How about you, try using a power How about you shut the hell up? Well so Alright, just like the charge beam, but in morph ball mode. Hold down the one button until the meter fills, release, and we got a nice big flash in boom. You think? All right, Samus. That's it for the test. Oh, did I pass? You know, I, I'm glad you uh, had to test my abilities to save the friggin' universe. The... It's unbelievable how well you've held up. I wondered if this too was a result of the power Four. that you gave me. Right. You're new in the meeting room. The big dogs are waiting. I gave your suit a polish so you'd be at least somewhat I give you something to polish. That looks ominous. Not even what did he do when I was asleep? 
none of the baby remained on me. Five. I knew it to be true, but still couldn't help looking at my palm for a sign. Never mind your palm. Take off the power suit so I can pay more attention to my Never palm. Would I encounter the baby. Six. Never. The finality of it struck me once again. Blah, blah, blah. The baby. Blah, blah, blah. Mission completed. Oh yeah, it's Zebes, not Zebes, not Zebes, not Zebes. Yay! Let's all applaud because she blew up a whole friggin' planet! And let's pray to God that none of those fragments head towards Earth. Another nice cutscene. I don't know how much time passed since then. Days went by in their quiet way. People's recollections of Metroids and space pirates grew nebulous over time, relegated to a past concern of the galactic community. She'd be a lot hotter if she didn't talk like that. Memory. It is a bit a sexy. Se seven? No, I don't. I don't. With the urgency of the baby uh, the nickname comes from the did those two times count? I mean, she wasn't talking about the baby. She was just saying baby. <sighs> it's up to you guys whether or not you want to take a drink on that one. If this detour had already been part of my flight plan. Babies cry. It was as though it was crying specifically for me. Ooh, she's got issues. And there's the title screen. In case you didn't know, the name of the game is Metroid Other M. But I think I already said that. Yes, sir, I did. Gotta love these games that show the title screen, like, further into the game. Eh, I guess it's better than some games. You know, some games wait forever to show the title screen. Like a certain Final Fantasy Disney crossover. Oh no, I've never really been able to get into Kingdom Hearts. I I, I don't I don't get it. I mean, it, it's kind of a cool concept. I I just I'm sorry. It just the story takes itself way too seriously to be having something that goes <laughs> every 2 seconds. Um I guess it's a fun game, but uh, the story just makes me cringe. This is the bottle ship. It's named that because it's shaped like a giant baby bottle. Why is it that Samus's ship always has, like, a different design in every game? I mean, how many of these things does she have? Sorry, lady, I still think the, uh, dark suit from Echoes was much better. Maybe the Phazon suit from the original Prime. I don't know. That one's up for a vote. Okay, so we have these little investigation uh, scenes right here. And, uh, yeah, we're just stuck in first-person mode. Until we scan the very tiny little pixel that they want us to scan, we cannot proceed. And it can, it, it can get kind of annoying at times. So, let's just cut to the chase. What we want to examine is that eh, little insignia right there. Galactic Federation, what the hell are they doing here? Yeah, really, that's what I said. And that's also what she said. Tee <laughs> hee. And alright, looks like we got some investigating to do right through this door, but that's gonna have to wait till next time. And until next time, thank you for watching that LP show. Have a one that is good.